Oh, that's the best thing I had in ages. It's not often we get such specific requests from customers, but I'm glad it did the job. That's my own recipe. Made it when Andrew is pregnant. She used to swear by him. Yeah, well, if I keep feeling like this, I'm going to be living off them. <laughs> well, I can't say it'll work every time. I mean, the next few months, it's, it's going to be pretty rough. But they're worth it, right? Yeah, yeah, of course they are. I mean, people wouldn't give up their whole lives otherwise, would they? What, is that how you see it, just giving up your whole life? Well, I mean, I always wanted to go travelling, you know. Thought about specialising in my training, but it was... It was just, it was too much money. Too much time away from home. Just wasn't an option, really. But, I mean, you don't want to do that stuff anyway, do you? So... It's true, then. Congratulations, I guess. I really wish you the best of luck, cos you're gonna need it. Thanks. I mean, I couldn't quite hear you over all of that jealousy, but... Excuse me? With pleasure. I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks, but I don't need warning. What I need is for you to just leave us alone. Andrea? Can I have a word? Is this about your auntie's wedding? She's my cousin. Sorry, it's a complicated family tree. Look, is it going to be awkward? Cos I really like Mandy. No, of course not. Just give her a good day. I will. That isn't what I wanted to talk to you about, though. Just seen Jamie with Gabby. Look, I don't care about them and neither should you. Jamie, I don't, but Gabby, you should have heard her. It was like she was already a Tate. Well, she's old enough to take care of herself. No, I thought that and then I faced a prison sentence and I had a breakdown. All right, Bubba, what do you want me to do about it? You're the only one that's left that house with any kind of control. Barely. Look, I I've tried talking to her. She's not going to listen. Well, make her. You know she's pregnant. Yes, Jamie is a good dad. I'll give him that, but... You're telling me that if you couldn't go back in time and warn you and Millie what was coming, you wouldn't. Fine. Leave it with me, all right? Another one? No, thanks. It, it will pass soon enough. Yeah, well, soon isn't good enough. I remember when Andrea told me she was pregnant. She had to put the phone down and rush off to the toilet to be sick. I felt quite bad because I was skiing in the Alps at the time. Oh, the Alps? I... I love France. Really? You ski? No, but I've been to Paris. Oh, yeah. Paris is amazing. I, I, I didn't know you'd been. Yeah, Mum took us once. It's literally, like, my favourite place. Yeah, me too. Nothing quite like a stroll down the Champs-Élysées, followed by a bottle of Beaujolais, of course. Yeah, that's what we did when Mum took me. Oh. Huh. Never took you for the fine wine type. Yeah, well, there's a lot you don't know about me yet. Just a shame you can't do that now, eh? What do you mean? Well, you know, Paris is no place for a baby. All those tiny streets and apartments. Plus, you know, I don't think those snooty waiters would take too kindly to a screaming baby ruining their ambiance. Well, when you put it like that... Uh, forget Paris. You'll be too busy to even think about getting away when the baby comes. Yeah. You're right. Maybe in a few years. Oh, great. And what do you want? Gabby, can I have a word, please, in private? You've got nothing to say to her. Gabby, please. I don't want any trouble. Hey, I'm not here for any trouble, all right? I just want to talk to you. You heard her. What is it with you and you always having to control women? Control? Look, Gabby is an adult, OK? She decides who she wants to be with. Oh, so you two are for real, then? Well, that's none of your business. Gabby, believe me, you do not want to be in a relationship with him. He'll just end up hurting you. Thanks, but I'm good. So stop embarrassing yourself. Don't say that I didn't warn you. 